In this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you how to make a, a very basic fire. Um, I've included a package that I'll be putting on my website called Gizmosign Fire Tutorial. It contains a barrel, which is uh, just made quickly in Max. Also contains a glow ball that I'll be doing for like uh, little um, like embers coming off the, the fire, and also a cloud te texture which I made also. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make our materials. So right-click on the cloud, for example, and go to create new material. And I'm going to give it in a group called materials. Hit OK. And I'm going to go back to textures, right-click on global, create new material, put that in materials also. OK. Go into the cloud. Now, over on this side, you have your viewport of the material. This is where you'd be placing all your nodes and hooking them all together. And right here is the nodes that you can select to add to your uh, material. Also, right here is the source and this is uh, how you'll be setting the values down here so what you can do is if you left click on the texture if you want to move it you hit control hold down the left mouse button and move it out of the way um, so for this we're going to need a constant a constant is a value between 0 and 1 0 is black 1 is white we're also going to be needing a vertex color which is good for um, particles because it allows you to control the color of the material through the particle system. Um, and we also are going to need a multiply. A multiply, if you think about it, is kind of like a layer in Photoshop. So I'm going to grab one of those. Now, we need two of those. You can either grab it again or you can hit Control w for a shortcut. Okay, so and I need one more. There. Okay. So, I'm going to select the constant first, and I'm going to make it white, like that. And I'm going to grab this black channel right here, which is the main channel, and put it into A. B is going to be into the constant. And if you click the little box up here, you can see the result. This, the output of this is going to A and then B is going into the vertex color the main channel and click that so you can see it and then this is going into emissive because it's a particle system the particles don't um, show diffuse so it's emissive and it'll be unlit so we c uh, and then uh, we're gonna go select the red channel actually we'll select the white channel, the alpha channel and put it into A and the alpha channel on the vertex color will go into B and hit the little button so you can see what the alpha channel looks like and that's going to go into opacity. Now what we do now is select the preview material right here and go to opacity and go to additive and we want to make sure this it, for particles it's set to unlit and we hit the little green box checkbox and that has saved the that texture for the material for us. So we can close it down. Open up the next one. Open global. Select with the left button. Control. Move it out of the way. Now instead of recreating all that again, what we can do is, is we can open up the cloud material. And if you hold down Control and Alt, left click and drag, you say get a marquee tool selection. Select all those. Hit Control C to copy. Close it down. Go back over here. Control V to paste. And now all you can do is is delete the old one and plug in the new one. That goes there. That goes there. See that doesn't have an alpha channel, so we're gonna go blue. There we go. And it's going into emissive. 
and this is going into opacity and this is additive and it's unlit and you click the ch checkbox just to apply changes and oh make sure you save right click save and we're ready for moving on into the particle system